Hey everybody, James here from My RV Ninja. That's right, I'm your RV Ninja at MyRVNinja.com. Hey, I wanted to do a two-part video this week um, to talk about something that a lot of you are at least asking me about, um, something we have experience with, and that is taking pets on the road in your RV. I just have a few tips for you to think about that we learned from experience and hope that they're going to be helpful. Now, before you tune out, this is not just another pet video. For those of you who are watching the video, you might be seeing behind me a picture of uh, our fluffy little pet. Now, listen, I tease her, and I know there's a lot of uh, dog fans out there that I might get in heat about this, but that didn't really sound right. <laughs> but for those of you uh, who, you know, take the side of the dog. I always tease her and say she's more cat than she is dog, and she barely passes out a dog, but she will bark if somebody comes to the door. She will not bark, however, when she needs to go outside, but she will bark for the door, and she will bark, of course, when she wants to come inside, which is usually about 30 seconds after she goes outside. But anyway, enough about that. The first thing that I would recommend is ask your vet um, tell your vet where you're going. Let them know, hey, this is what our plans are. Uh, do you have any vets in the area or is it, you know, is there any type of association that we could contact that would have an affiliation there with you? Uh, you'd be surprised at how often you'll find that a lot of the veterinarians out there will have uh, other friends and other veterinarians out there. That's fun to say, veterinarians. Um, I'm working on my three sil veterinarians. Well, those are much more than three. You know, another thing to think about too that you should ask your vet for is whether or not you should increase the dosage or frequency for the T, <laughs> not the T, but for the flea and ticks um, uh, medicine that you're, um, I hope you're entertained, uh, the medicine that you're gonna give your dog. Uh, the second thing is you want to make sure that you keep them cool. Now, I know that's kind of obvious, but uh, when we've traveled along, you might be seeing a picture here in just a second. It's not already behind me. Um, about uh, it's, it's our dog uh, on one of our trips. It was a great trip that we had. We had a big Class A RV, and she loved to get out there on the dash. And we loved to have her out there. It was pretty fun. People would wave at us, and she just loved to hang out by the AC vent and whatnot. But I did notice a couple hours into our trip um, that we uh, that it was getting very hot. The dash was getting extremely hot. So I'd say make sure that you have uh, either blankets or their bed or whatever else that you would want to put up there if your dog is small enough to get up there. If you're traveling in an RV that you stop every two hours, I think that's good for you as a person. I think that's really good for you as a dog uh, or as a, as a cat or any other animal that you can take out of your RV to just let them do their business. The fourth thing that I would say is to make sure that you um, have water bowls that have rubber on the bottom that are rubberized. And the reason is pretty simple. Um, you are driving around in an RV and if you have some water, you wanna make sure there is water out for your pet and you wanna make sure that the water is not splashing, 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 let's go with that, it, everywhere all over your RV, uh, unless of course you need to wash your floors, maybe that'll work to your advantage, I don't know. Um, the last thing I would say kind of goes along with that, make sure that you've got good mats. Um, man, I tell you what, if you think it's bad walking in and out of your RV and uh, you know, you're bringing in enough uh, dirt and mud and whatnot, think about four-legged, uh, creatures moving in and out of your RV. Man, I tell you what, they can track in a lot of really good stuff. Uh, help you, uh, you know, freshen up and sharpen up, I should say, your cleaning skills. Okay, so that's the end of video number one. Video number two is coming at you later this week, and we're going to talk about at least five other suggestions that we learned from the hard way. And I might even tell you a story or two, very quickly, on some of the embarrassing moments that happened with us while we traveled with our dog, and we'll look forward to talking to you again real soon. Take care.